Number 58. Calculate the ionization constant for each of the following acids or bases from the ionization constant of its conjugate base or conjugate acid. Then we have letter D. So in this case, we have HO2 minus. We have to find the ionization constant for that, but they're telling us that it's going to be acting as a base. So thank you for that. That means that we're going to be solving for KB. B for base. So I went to the back of a textbook to find out what the conjugate acid of HO2 minus. Remember, conjugate acid has one more hydrogen. So instead of one hydrogen, you have two hydrogens, but all the other elements should stay the same. And that Ka value was 2.4 times 10 to the negative 12th. So in essence, we want to take a Ka value for the acid and convert it into the Kb value for the base. What is the formula that I can convert a Ka to a Kb? Well, it's this formula right here. It's the Kw formula. Kw equals Ka times Kb. Now, if we're trying to solve for Kb, what I would do is I would divide on both sides by the Ka. Right? These would cancel out. And now you have Kw divided by Ka equals Kb. So for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to do that right now. You don't have to. You could do the math right from that equation, but it's just easier for the video. So I'm just going to take this, plop that down there, boop, and there we go. Okay, so we're solving for Kb. We have the Ka, that was from the conjugate acid, 2.4 times 10 to the negative 12th. Now, since we're pulling this from the back of a textbook, the Kw value is probably going to have to be memorized. Your teacher or professor might not give you the Kw value, but that's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative fourth. That's the ionization constant for water. So now let's go through it. Something divided by something equals Kb. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 2.4 times 10 to the negative 12th. And from there, we're going to find our Kb. So let's see. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 2.4. Oops. Yeah, 2.4 times 10 to the negative 12. Just double checking. That looks good to me. And we can use sig figs. We don't really have to. But if we do, actually, no, we can use scientific notation. Two sig figs here. So 0.0042. Or it would be 4.2 times 10 to the negative 3. Either one is acceptable to me. And that rhymes. But anyway, that's your answer. 0.0042. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. We have a couple of more from this, this number, so hang tight. We'll do letter E in a little bit. And I hope to be seeing you around. Not seeing you, but talking to you. But I'm really talking to myself. Hmm. Well, anyway. Thanks for tuning in. I will, I guess I'll be talking to you later. Okay, bye-bye.